You should sit there and think back to the last really vivid dream you had. And now set it out as if it were a screen treatment. You see. And then just study this scenario and then ask yourself who wrote it. Now, did it, was it put together by some communist homosexual poet on the left bank of the Seine? Uh, the fact is, we're all crazy. Uh, as soon as we take attention off our, 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 off our conscious minds, an ape behind the brain begins to yammer. What Aldous Huxley called the endless idiot gibberish of the reverie. Uh, we're, we're, we're all ridiculous when we're not uh, being careful not to be. Uh, and poetry has to be about that, too. Try the analogy to music as one way of stating the poet's situation today. You know, a line may take us hours, maybe, yet if it does not seem a moment's thought, our stitching and unstitching has been not a firmly romantic composer. I won't mention anyone, but oh, maybe Brahms. Better get down upon your marrow bones and scrub a kitchen pavement or break stones like an old popper in all kinds uh, of weather. You get to the end of a, a say, a symphonic uh, work, and you have about a five-minute parade of big chords. They come in, cut a thump, cut a thump, cut a thump, and it builds up and builds up and builds up, and finally it comes to rest with a full orchestral tonic for to articulate sweet sounds together is to work harder than all these and yet be thought an idler by the noisy set of bankers, schoolmasters, and clergymen the martyrs call the world. And everything is resolved and shut, isn't it? Well, stop and think. You have to be awfully sure what universe you're living in before you can get a form that self sealing See, the tonic resolution is an act of certainty, I think, so. It's, uh, it's a nice what if act you're of letting go, you know. The, uh, uh, I think he had the right enemy located in a way. Sir. Uh, they're, they're, uh, they're supposing Wordsworth had gone back to Tinton Abbey and found a supermarket and shopping center. You see. Uh, would, would, would his impressions then have come to a tonic resolution? I think he would have had to find another form to cool. express this. I uh, they have the courage of their convictions, but they haven't got the courage of their confusions. And I, uh, uh, I, 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 I don't think you're being educated unless you change unless your things. A dying fall, a slide out from under. You see, dissonances, disjunction is part of our lives. Uh, the tempi of our lives uh, are changed. And Taking you have to have forms of venture into confusion. Uh, you, you, you have to. You can't get entirely clarified. You can't get it all down so this, in whatever two sentences you're talking that makes about. sense. Otherwise, you're, uh, you're not touching the age. I've, uh, I've been asked time and again by, by deuce ladies, you know, why is modern poetry so crazy? And there are a lot of answers to that, but I, uh, I don't know quite how I scored with them, but I gave myself some points one day when I said, uh, well, I'll tell you what, you sit, sit there in a Quaker meeting and think back to the last really vivid dream you had. And now set it out as if it were a screen treatment, you see.